So delete is going to be another easy endpoint to make. All that is going to require is that you pass up the ID, send it to the server, then you just check if it exists, as always. Then you use the remove function that is provided to you by Entity Framework. It is going to be tracked, and if you actually want the SQL to be sent to the database, you run save changes, and that's pretty much it. And after you run all that, the delete occurs, and it no longer actually exists within the database. But that was very easy. Let's go ahead. Let's go inside of uh, VS Code here. And first thing that I'm going to start with, and you can start wherever you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and start inside the controller. Uh, we need to go here below the actual put, and we're going to do HTTP delete. And would you look at that? There's already a nice little annotation provided for you. Next thing you want to do is go into here. And because we need the ID, remember that we're going to have to have the ID uh, of the actual record. We're going to go ahead and pass in that string. So public async, public async. Then we're going to go here, task I action result. And then we will uh, name it delete. You can name it whatever you want to, but it's probably best to name it delete. And we're going to go ahead and have the from route. You don't have to have that, but it's good to be ex as explicit as you can. So next thing I'm going to do is go inside of my comment repository. I am sweating. It is really hot inside of my house for some reason, but I'm just going to go ahead and tough it through. So if you notice me sweating, I, I know that I'm sweating and I am trying to finish this tutorial as quickly as I can so that I can turn on the air conditioner. And I don't know. It's almost Christmas Day and I have no idea why it's so hot. And it's so hot in North Carolina. Okay, so... We've got our actual signature inside of our interface. What we're going to do now is go inside of our repository and we're going to go ahead and implement this interface. We now have this method right here. We're going to go ahead, do what we always do. We're going to check to make sure it exists. You need to check to make sure that the record actually exists because you can't delete a record that doesn't exist and we need to return null anyway too. So we're going to go comments. We're going to go first or default async. I'm going to go x, uh, x dot id is equal to, pass in the id, goes without saying. And then we're going to, of course, check to make sure that it is not null. And if it is null, we're going to return. So we're going to go here. If it is null, we're going to return. Looking good. Then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to have our context. We're going to take our comments and we are going to remove here and we're going to go ahead and pass in our comment model next thing we're going to await and also remember that the remove does not have an await that is a very key point because if you try to use an await with the remove you're not going to find any method so save changes async then after that we are going to return the comment model very simple very similar to the uh, actual endpoint that we created earlier so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to go var comment model. It's going to be very similar to the actual repository that we made in terms of the wording. Then here, I'm going to go await. We'll go comment repo, and we are going to delete async, and we are going to go ahead and pass in the ID. And yes, the ID is the only thing that is needed. Then here, if comment model is equal to null. So if we do get null back, so if there is nothing there, we are going to return not found. So return not found. You say comment does not exist. Looking good. Then if it does exist, what we're going to do is we are going to return okay and then we're going to return the comment model although you don't have to you don't have to actually put this in there you could just return blank if you want to okay and i'm not getting any errors so i think we are good pretty much good to go do you want to restart your app yes and i'm just going to go ahead and do a cold restart so i'm going to go .net watch run then we're going to go let's go get all of our comments so get all of the comments I love Palantir. Let's just say I don't love Palantir anymore and we want to get rid of number two. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead, toss in a number two. And looks like we got everything back that we wanted. Let's check to make sure it was deleted. 
and we no longer have number two, which is the Isle of Palantir. Anyways, after this, we're going to start working on data validation, and then we're on to security. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.